previously on Lock of the Week. For UFC 277 to go for five in a row, I got to go with none other than my dude, the brawler, the striker, sometimes the wrestler, the tough Nick Negamorenu is the lock of the week for UFC 277. I could not believe that he was the underdog. Look how tired that dude is right now. Look at his face right now. Look at the panic in his face. He's bleeding. He's exhausted. He's fucking toast. This was the easiest lock of the week of all time. Easiest lock of the week of all time. He's already quitting. This dude's quitting already. Look at this fucking. Let him back to his feet. Now fucking knock him out. Cock it back. Cock it. Cock it back, baby. Get your fucking right hand on him. That's a 10-6 round. I've never seen a 10-6 round before in my life. That was the first fucking one. I mean, Nick's trying to knock him out right now. Just that right hand. Yo, Nick is trying to flatline this dude. <laughs> Find it, baby. Find it, baby. There it's a right hand. There was. There was. There was. Push him. Get him over him. Now put him on the fucking ground. And just embarrass this fucking dude. There we go. Big, big shot coming from Nick here. Boom! Keep me big up, bro. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick. Now get after him! He's quitting! He's quitting! Five weeks in a row, picking all on the dogs. Uh, you get the fuck out of here. There's nobody better than me. I mean, there's nobody better than me. guys welcome back to we want pigs my name is jacob thank you for joining me here today and can we get a like on this video for five lock of the week hits in a row somebody called a fire department because i'm on fire if you guys are new to lock of the week in this video first of all subscribe to we want pigs we have all the content in the world go to we pigs.com become a premium member to get all our bets and a whole bunch of other shit early become a channel member if you want to support the stream what this is is quite simply every single week i pick one underdog on every single card that i believe in my mind is going to win with 100 percent certainty and so far we are now 18 and 10 Picking all underdogs except for Pat Sabatini and Ryan Hall, who will always be the lock of the week. And we have won five weeks in a row. We are on fire right now. Last week we had Nick. I'm not going to try to say his last name again because I always mess it up. But we had Nick last week coming through big for us. One of the easiest lock of the weeks of all time. But I'll be honest, guys. For UFC Vegas 59, it is a tough, tough sledding out here i first broke down this card on sunday watching on the film of all the fighters i did not see even one underdog in my mind that was going to win clear cut 100 percent. there's usually always one that stands out there was not one on this card but before we get too far ahead of ourselves we got to look back at last week at ufc 277 the hall of champions because there was a few of you guys that also got your lock of the weeks right and a lot of people were riding nick with me and i don't blame you so let's look at the hall of champions for ufc 277. <laughs> So congratulations to everyone who was in the Hall of Champions for UFC 277. But as we know, 
Sometimes when you're running your mouth, you get caught up a little bit. Back by popular demand, here is the wall of shame for UFC 277. First up, we have this knucklehead who says, who does knee push-ups? I know somebody who gets on their knees and it rhymes with your mom. Your wife is in the DMs, must have a broken keyboard because he's writing in all caps like someone gives a fuck. Chris K said, ain't no Russian gonna beat a Texan in Texas. Whoopsie, you better not be fucking talking about me, Jose. Big Dom says he's a goner. The only person that was more gone than Ehor was your wife as soon as I walked in the room. The only thing more dangerous than Nick is me in the bedroom, Kimberly. If you want to feel real sadness, just wait till late November, Mr. Ohio State. Go Blue. The only thing that broke Saturday night was Derek Lewis's will to pretty much do anything. Boy, he's turned into a sad sack of shit. Elizabeth says, love the video, Jacob, and I love you, Elizabeth. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. But seriously, what are you doing Friday? Wendy was in the live stream Saturday running her mouth about I'm a whore with Alex Perez as her luck. Probably won't be seeing her for a while. He tried to get extremely legendary with his locks, but instead got extremely locked out of his apartment by his girlfriend after losing all their money. And speaking of losing everything, there's a GoFundMe in the description below for Jaquan because unfortunately, he fucking lost it all. This has been Wall of Shame. So that was the wall of shame for UFC 277. Hats off to every single person who puts their comment and their lock of the week, puts themselves out on a ledge and picks one underdog every single week. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos, the likes, the comments, all the new members. I know I'm making you guys some money, so make sure you become a member or a premium member on WeWantPicks.com. With that said, let's get into Lock of the Week for UFC Vegas 59. So I'll be honest with you guys, UFC Vegas 59, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it was a tough, tough go. Top to bottom, I literally picked every single favorite on the card to win. I reached out to the MMA guides and I said, please... Please flip these odds on somebody. Give me an underdog that I can believe in in my heart. And there was one person that I was like, if this person flips odds to an underdog, they are going to be my lock of the week. But before we get to the actual lock of the week, let me just say, if I had any balls at all, and you guys know, OnlyFans.com slash The Freckled Salamander, you guys know that are subscribed, no, I don't have any balls. But if I had any balls... And they were big balls, and I'm talking big balls. I would make Sam Alvey my lock of the week, because I actually do think that Sam Alvey is going to win the fight. Listen, the guy, he's fighting Michelle McCall, Michael. He is just a 185-205 Jorge Masvidal. That's all he is. A lot of volume, not much power. He's going to pressure forward, but I think Sam Alvey. I know he's winless in his last whatever. He's got some split decisions in there. He could easily have won three of his last five fights. And his last fight versus Brendan Allen, he was teeing off on Brendan Allen. So I love Sam Alvey to get pressured back against the fence. Cock back that right hand. Wham! And just knock down Michelle to win. But as I said, you guys are subscribed to my OnlyFans page. No, I got no balls. There is no balls down here. So I could not... Pick Smiling Sam Alvey as my lock of the week. I'm going in a different direction. The strategy the last five weeks has always been pick the better striker in a mostly striking matchup, and it's paid off so far. But so my lock of the week for UFC Vegas 59 is the dynamic, the powerful, the smooth, the beautiful. Myro Bueno Silva is the lock of the week for UFC Vegas 59. And this isn't going to be a super popular pick, but I'm telling you what, guys. She should have absolutely the huge striking advantage in this fight. And I know a lot of people are going to say, Stephanie's just going to take her down. Ground and pound her. Submit her. First of all, for Stephanie to get the fight to the ground, she needs a clinch situation. I hope that Silva is smart enough to stay out of those clinch situations because Stephanie is not a wrestler. She's not even a real jiu-jitsu practitioner. She is judo. So she needs you to get up on her hips so she can toss you to the ground. And even if 
She tosses Myro Bueno Silva to the ground. I believe Bueno Silva is well versed enough in the Jiu Jitsu to scramble back to her feet or even survive on her feet, get back to the next round, and then win the striking battle. The only thing that worries me, obviously, is that weird situation like we saw with Jessica Rose Clark. You toss her straight into the arm bar, the Ronda Rousey 101 special. One of Silva should be well-versed, know what to expect. She should have the striking advantage, the grappling advantage. The only thing she doesn't have the advantage on is the judo. Stay out of the clinch. Piece her up at range. She's got some heavy, heavy hands. The Muay Thai kind of worries me a little bit. She is a little bit low volume, but she should have absolutely the big striking advantage in this fight. Stephanie is not a very good striker at all. She's probably going to keep range, keep distance. This could be a weird decision. I don't love this lock of the week, guys. So if you guys are following me and you're just betting blindly on my lock of the weeks for five weeks in a row, this is probably my least confident of all time. I pray to the gods for somebody to flip. They flip 1 0 Silva to the underdog for me so I can have a big lock of the week. And it's not going to be Sam Alvey, unfortunately, but it is going to be 1 0 Silva for lock of the week for USC Vegas 59. So let me know in the comments below if you agree. If you disagree, let me know your lock of the week for UFC Vegas 59. I want to thank you guys for joining me here today. My name is Jacob. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, become a member. We want picks.com, become a premium member. And we appreciate all the support, guys. I am out of here. Peace.